Okay, good morning. Um, we are here today for JTA proposal P16017 for uniforms. Uh, this morning we have Unifirst coming in to present. We will go through introductions on the JTA side. We'll allow you to introduce yourselves and then we will start the time. We've got 15 minutes total, 20 minutes for presentation, 10 minutes for the evaluation committee to go over, uh, take a look at your samples, ask any questions uh, while they're up there. And then there is also an additional 20 minutes for questions and answers. I am Teresa Lind with uh, JTA Contracts and Procurement Manager. Adrian Bell, JTA Operation Administrative Supervisor in the Transit Department. India Friedman, Revenue Manager. Randy Brewer, Senior Manager of Maintenance. Lisa Dernal, Vice President, Transit Operations. Wendy Morrow, External Affairs. Michelle Berber, Business Analyst. I'm Chad Lukowski, Sales Manager with Unifirst. Steve Hooker, Sales Representative. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, the pieces that we bid on were the wiping cloths as well as the mats. Um, we've got three different wiping cloths that uh, were asked about. One is our uh, standard shop towel, it's 100% uh, cotton, uh, 12, 12 by 12 inch, somewhat standard in the industry. We have our virgin wiping cloths, uh, which would uh, obviously come through. It's the smaller white one, uh, also 12 by 12, 100% cotton, uh, but it hasn't been used in a shop, uh, uh, shop environment as of yet. And then we also have our terry towels, uh, also called bar towels, more for cleaning up uh, um, water, uh, more hygienic items not used on uh, um, uh, mechanical equipment. Uh, then we also have mats. Uh, we have a 3x5, a 4x6, and a 3x10 as far as our sizes. Um, they come in a speckled pattern. This is our charcoal mat. We also have brown, red, blue, and green. Uh, we choose not to do a solid mat, it tends to show up more dirt. The advantages as well with our mats is it's the thickest uh, rubber backing in the industry. On the bottom it actually has a waffle pattern as well. Uh, they come back a little bit damp, um, not, not dripping damp, but damp. The waffle pattern allows it to actually create an adhesion to the floor and a suction um, so it doesn't slide as much, um, or uh, I shouldn't say at all, but as it, it decreases the amount of slide. Um, what you would see with some other mats is it's got a spiked pattern on the bottom. It doesn't have as much surface contact with the floor and it will tend to, it will tend to slide on surfaces. Um, and then the top part of it, the way we manufacture our mat is the fibers, we, it's an erect fiber which allows uh, more dirt to actually funnel in. The problem you'll see with some mats is if you have somebody clean their feet as they're walking across, the dirt will stay on the top. The next person that walks through will actually catch that dirt and start to walk it through. Uh, by changing these out, uh, I believe it might be every week or even every other week, depending on what the situation is. Um, the soil <coughs> is actually gonna fall through to, towards the bottom of the mat and not catch the next person. Um, other than that, I'm not sure that, <laughs> I've got a lot else to present when it comes to the mats and the towels. Um, so, whatever the next step might be. Yep, that's understood. Um, now we'll allow the committee time to Field, ask questions in regards to the samples that have been brought in. <coughs> 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 yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Hey, I'm Randy. Randy, Chad, pleasure meeting you. Yeah. How are you? Great. Um, do you have different, or all the, the Brooks the same application, like for our administrative offices versus our our shop area. Is it the same mat? They both yes. work well. Yes, it's the same mat. Absolutely. Um, the only other mat that we would have would be a full rubber mat. Um, is what would be called a scraper. Was it quoted? Do you remember? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. Scraper mat, which is a solid rubber rubber mat. Solid rubber mat that would be more of an exterior mat. And obviously the carpet is typically used more of as an interior. With that, we have some rubber mats with the, with the big holes in them, is that what you're talking about? Those are flow-through mats. Um, yeah. Normally those are used in a wet area. Um, At our service station, you know, we're on the fuel pumps and stuff, mm -hmm. we, we, we purchase them. Do you guys have anything that you could uh, put onto this rental or lease that you could? Yes, sir. I mean, they, they, they wear out kind of quick, quickly for us. And, just would like to get them not wear out but get dirty and we don't have any with 
Absolutely. processing. Yeah, normally with the, with the full rubber mats, we do what's called a, a more the lease program where we leave them and then when we need to pick them up and clean them, we, are they getting to the point where they would need to be changed out every week? Or is no. it something that's <coughs> a, I mean, a once a month or something? Once a month would probably work. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. but uh, And that's what you've quoted on that? Or is it something different? I don't believe the flow were the, I, don't, I don't believe the flow mats were on. No, we just didn't add them on there. Right. Yeah. It, but uh, it, that's not a problem. It's something we do carry. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wendy is um, uh, external affairs. So we asked a question the last time. You know, do you have to have uh, uh, embroidery or special logo mats? Logo, logo mats. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. That's not a problem at all. You'll find these mats, because we self-manufacture them, are the thickest <coughs> mat in the industry. Yeah, I so. um, each one of these mats, uh, each square yard of mat will hold one gallon of water. So you're looking at, you know, uh, 15 <coughs> square feet here, so this will hold about a gallon and a half of water. So that's one of the nice things of having, you know, especially here in Florida where you get a lot of rain <coughs> coming in uh, these will actually will grab that and hold that water one thing too is and again I didn't bring the copy of our side but uh, were logo mats actually requested on the on the quote or not I'm not sure they were just to give you a thought yeah just to give you a thought normally a logo like you know you, you guys decide to get the charcoal mats and we roll it up and we go wash it and yeah. you're not going to get necessarily the same mat back whereas if we have a right. JTA mat obviously right. we're not going to go put it at someplace else um, if when the end of that agreement's up if, if you, again just to kind of give you an idea if part of the quote is is there going to be a buyout of those right. mats um, because that could sometimes be cost prohibitive to uh, just given that as an offer sure. up yep. we would want to include that because that mm -hmm. certainly could be an expense depending on especially how many yeah. there's something on there called a greetings mat I don't know if that would be a, a, a greetings mat is is something. It's it's a message mat that we do have, like uh, welcome. Um, is that what you're referring to when you? Sometimes when you ours are safety <coughs> mats too. They're safety okay. safety slogans, safety. But, and message. yes, ma'am, and, and we do have the safety mats, and those are all uh, have that logo on them. So um, not necessarily that particular mat will come back. We have right. a lot of safety sure. mats in stock. So. Yeah, different, definitely different than a logo mat because yeah. we do have a lot of manufacturing right. companies that use a safety. Mat. Do you have a mat that has a foam center, or they're all just pretty flat? They're, they're all pretty flat. When you say a foam, are you talking something where somebody would be standing on right, it for, for a long period, period of time? We do have anti-fatigue mats. Mm -hmm. uh, they're designed just for that area, um, and generally, you know, standing on concrete or tile, the back and, and legs start to get tired. These will actually will help uh, probably, you know. Percentage would be offhand, but it actually helps reduce that stress on the back and your legs. And ours are not necessarily foam. Ours are it's a solid rubber mat, mm -hmm. and in where this carpet is, there are a, I don't know exactly how many, but there's um, little pockets of the rubber pockets, and it's compressed air in those rubber pockets. Mm -hmm. So instead of I know a lot that you see the foam mats where it's uh, low at the side and, and then kind of come comes up. up mm -hmm. um, the reason, there's a couple reasons why I know our company doesn't do them uh, for the, one is the laundering of those. Um, the problem is when you get the foam and you're doing water, um, you start to create bacteria. Those are made typically to purchase and leave there. Um, the other thing is also it sometimes causes a trip hazard. Somebody's standing there, but if you have it and you're not thinking about it, you have people walking. That's why we do, It's again, it's rubber, um, small little raises on each one, and it, each one has compressed air. So. Okay. And that, that, and I'm wondering when we actually have the anti-fatigue mat that would require um, kind of something with a little bit of a lift to it. Yeah, that's not a problem. I don't know if we quoted that, but okay. All right, thank you. All right.
Um, no, it's just a matter of we'll, we'll go out back and make sure, and if there's, uh, as far as we've talked about, uh, possibly flow-through mats, anti-fatigue, and logo mats, I'm assuming that that would end up being uh, some type of amendment if it's not actually on the bid. Yeah, I'd have to up. look and see how the solicitation was quoted. We okay. may have to do it outside of the solicitation if yeah. it wasn't included. But if there's this certain sentence in the solicitation, I'm, at, I'm able to add things. I'm just not sure if they okay. exist in this one or not. I'd have to go back and look. Okay. So uh, if there are no questions, we can go ahead and conclude the presentations. Uh, thank you very much for coming yeah, thanks, in. Thank you. Thank you. It does help to touch and Okay. Hold things. <laughs> and not a problem at all. Just, <laughs> again, when we only bid a certain certain percentage of it, we're like, okay, this might not take 50 minutes. So, <laughs> okay. um, now you, you know. can have lunch downtown. <laughs> 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 thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Teresa, will, hey, we, will we be? Uh,